Greg, I'm bored. You? You're always bored. I'm really bored. <sighs> what are we going to do? I don't know, Violet. I wish we knew more about civil and environmental engineering. Hi, kids. Sounds like you two could stand to go on an adventure. Who the heck are you? Now, calm down, Violet. He has an awesome cape. Let's hear him out. But yeah, who are you? Greg, Violet, I am glad you asked. I am JD, the captain. I am the guy who shows up when people want to learn more about civil and environmental engineering. How would you like to learn more? We'd They'd love to. to. Then away we go. Where the heck are we? This is an office where civil engineers work. This office has several projects going on right now, so everyone is busy with something. This guy is designing a new bridge. Really? What about that guy? That's one of the bosses. He's just made a deal with the city to fix an old sidewalk. And this guy over here? He's designing a new railroad crossing. And that guy? Paperwork. Well, that's all pretty good, but aren't office jobs really boring? You betcha. But civil engineering isn't all about sitting behind a desk. Let's go take a look at some of these projects as they play out. Okay. okay. Here we are at the construction site for the new bridge. Wow, how does that crane know where to put everything? Well, Violet, the crane operator works closely with the site foreman, the person in charge. In this case, that foreman is a civil engineer who understands every part of the bridge well. She directs everyone else at the work site and tells them where to put every piece. Wow! It sounds like the foreman gets to boss people around. That's pretty cool. It sure is, Greg, as long as she's nice. But that isn't the only cool thing civil engineers get to do. Let's check out another site. What's going on here, JD? This is a railroad crossing. The civil engineers need to make sure everyone in the city stays safe around the trains. I like trains! Who doesn't? The old crossing arm was damaged, so earlier the city workers removed it. The civil engineer designed the plan for installing the new one. Watch them put it into place. Wow, I had no idea civil engineers got to work around trains. Now the cars can safely ca cross the railroad tracks without fear. Let's join them. Okay! okay. <laughs> and what is this place? It looks like there's nothing here. Yeah, those guys are just standing around. Actually, this is very important work. The civil engineers here are taking measurements. They are trying to determine the exact shape of the ground so they can design a new building here. Measurements? I don't see any yardsticks or tape measures. That's right, Greg. The shape is much too complex to measure with just a yardstick. Can you guess what they use instead? No. That stick? Greg is correct. That stick is part of a tool called a laser level. He holds the stick at the point they want to measure, and the other guy shoots laser beams at it. He measures where the laser beam hits the stick, so he knows how tall the ground is at that point. That's crazy. Laser beams? Don't worry, Greg. These laser beams won't hurt you as long as you don't look directly at them. JD, you said the engineers at the office were also working on fixing a sidewalk. What about that? Well, Violet, here is the sidewalk project, Violet. The engineers analyzed the sidewalk and decided it needed to be repaired. The city worker mixed the cement thoroughly before pouring it into the mold. Once he's done pouring, he gets a specialized tool to smooth the surface. Civil engineers designed this mixture to last a long time. Now, all that's left to do is wait for it to dry, and then the new sidewalk section will be ready for use. Cool! Now back to the project in the forest. The surveyors determined that the shape of the ground was great for this project, so now they have to make sure the land is healthy enough for the project. This is an environmental engineer. She is taking soil samples to test in her lab. That's so cool! She arrives in her lab to test the samples. She has lots of cool methods of doing this. This one is a chemical analysis, but it's getting late, so we should probably head home. I'm glad you could come with me and learn some more about civil and environmental engineering. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Bye, JD. Uh, yeah, he's already gone. <laughs> <laughs>